In this Love Subbing short, we'll be testing the portable washing machine while we're on the road with the Airstream. If you would like a full review of the portable washing machine, please check out this video or the link in the description below. All right, it's laundry day. So we've got our cup it. You can see where we've stored it. It's currently being stored in its cardboard box until we can find a better uh, plastic container for it. This will work for this trip. But we're going to go ahead and get it out and set it up. And we're going to see if this thing works on the road. So two things we're going to try as part of our laundry solution is going to be this little hanging guy here. And look at all the uh, hooks, clothespins that it's got for drying laundry and that just sort of stores in the closet. This also stores in the closet. This was a new laundry solution. And what I like about it is that you can get the laundry out by opening up the bottom. Cool. Pulling things out. So I think that's kind of handy. All right, laundry day. Commences. In the Airstream. All right, as you can see, we've set it up in the bathroom. This is another advantage to having a wet bath and that we can just drain it right into the bathtub floor, huh? Right, exactly. So uh, I'm going to start by adding some water. Cindy's uh, thinking. Here, move back. That works. Yeah, it's going to take a while. I'm going to fill it up to about halfway. All right. I'm going to add three. All right, Cindy's gonna check the gray water tank. Let's see. Gray's, black's at 47, gray's at 12, we just dumped gray. Draining away. I'm trying to see if it's going to get, yep, it's going to get the laundry, uh, if I do it too fast, it's going to get the laundry uh, machine a little bit feet wet. I think it's meant for that, isn't it? In some ways, yeah, it's, it's lifted up. So it should be all right. It's getting the, the laundry machine a little feet wet, but I think it, it's lifted up so it can handle that. All right, see how it goes, right? Yep. All right, Cindy's got the spin cycle going. Yep, we're going to do it in stages because... Uh... It's not very big. That thing flies. That thing moves, for sure. All right, let's go ahead and see how much water we used. All righty. Fifty-three percent. So it went from what was it, eighteen? Something like that. Twenty percent to about fifty-four percent. So it probably took about thirty percent of your gray water tank, depending on your size. So this little what would you call it? Clothes dryer hangy thingy. <laughs> It's been key as well. It has 24 little clothespin hooks to hook things on. And what I like about it also is it spins in the wind so that everything sort of gets a little bit of uh, the breeze. So it, I think that's really helping the drying situation as well. These things will probably dry in this 18 mile an hour wind in about an hour. And the key about the Cuppet was it has a fabulous spin cycle. You could pretty much mimic your in your trailer in a big bucket but the spin cycle is key because these things were almost dry when we put them out and they are feeling pretty dry as is the other tip i would have is make sure you put in fabric softener in your rinse cycle that that keeps things from being stiff as they dry 